Brown at Data Center World, the Fall Edition 2012. Um, Kevin's the VP of uh, the Global Data Center Offer for Schneider Electric. And he just gave a presentation about the pros and cons of modular deployments. Um, Kevin, is mo are modular deployments for everybody? I think the short answer is no, they're not for everybody. There's certain benefits that mod modular deployments bring and uh, but there's also drawbacks that, that they can have so you know there's certain uh, uh, times when there's going to be great benefits but there's certain times when the customers won't be able to uh, take advantage of those benefits so it's not a cure-all for everybody so what are some of the potential upside what are the pros sure the the, the big benefit of doing a modular deployment is uh, first of all the speed of deployment so that i can uh, you know get a uh, deploy in weeks instead of months uh, the second thing is, uh, you know, when you get into these prefabricated modules is the performance of the modules is much more predictable. So it's easier to predict what is my PUE, what is the performance of the data center going to be, uh, simply because the variables of construction on site are taken away so that uh, you get better, you know, predictable performance. And ultimately what we're really driving towards is also simplifying the software, making the software much more open, uh, using open standards than, uh, than we've seen before. And certainly as uh, you start manufacturing these systems, uh, the ability to build high quality software that's uh, being deployed multiple times goes up. So we think there's a, an awful lot to be done on the software side as well. So what are some of the trade-offs? You might have to give up some of your usual preferences or um, other ways that you're used to deploying a data center. Well, sure. So one of the big ones is going to be, uh, you know, these systems all come in, you know, predetermined sizes that you can get. So uh, you may not be able to build a 610 kilowatt data center, for instance. You might have to pick uh, certain power points that are available based off of the modular designs that are there today. Uh, you know, there might be certain design preferences that uh, you can't meet using a modular design. So there might need to be a compromise in terms of if I want to get the speed of deployment and the predictable performance, I might have to give up on some preferences that I might have. And the third thing is, is frankly, not every site is, uh, uh, lends itself to being a modular deployment. So if you have a data center in the middle of New York City in the top of a skyscraper, you may or may not be able to take advantage of that. There just might be certain physical constraints that limit it. So uh, again, there's huge opportunities with modular d designs and uh, modular deployments, but again, they're not for everybody and, and uh, you, know, re you really need to evaluate whether it's going to make sense for you. Um, you gave an example of a company that uh, took advantage, they were limited on space and they wanted to build another electrical room and kick some office workers out of their That's cubicles. right, yes. The, uh, this is a story where the, uh, the data center had gone through a virtualization project, so they had uh, freed up square footage inside of the uh, IT room but uh, didn't have any power available to take advantage of that space. And so they went to the uh, facility engineer, and the facility engineer built out a you know, plan to build out another electrical room where there was currently people using that space for offices. Uh, and his thing was, we'll just go put them somewhere else, but the reality was there was nowhere else for those folks to go. And uh, so the solution to this was they bought one of our uh, power modules and just dropped it outside the building, ran the wires into the IT space, and they were able to, you know, go ahead and take advantage of the, the space that had been made available through the virtualization project. So uh, it's a great example of where the modular design was a great fit for what they were trying to do. It fit the building site and uh, really helped solve a problem that they were facing.